here is your template for your SSE file. And I want to explain some of these uh, entries here. Some of them are self-explanatory. If you have any questions, you do have that SSE scripting guide, which should answer any more questions that I might not be able to answer on this little video. First off, you've got to name your object. And my first planet I've called Klaatu. Notice that's in quotes. Oh, there are different types of quotes. For some reason, the Macs sometimes put in what they call smart quotes, you know, the little curly, uh, curly quotation marks, which screws everything up in the text. You have to make sure these are straight up and down, regular old quotes. This right here is your star. If you look on the Carpe Calum website, Carpe Calum, uh, go to the Celestial page, you will see the uh, assigned star that you have. It should start with HIP and then a series of numbers afterwards. Uh, class is going to be planet. That's pretty straightforward. You will see down below that the other thing here is a moon. That's a different class object, so you don't need to change that. This one is the texture. I invite you once again to go to the Celestia page on the Carpe Calum site to see if you want to change the texture. This is the picture that you paint on the planet. The radius in kilometers, you need to figure out what that is. You might want to do a planet like Saturn, so find out what Saturn's radius is. Or your planet might be like Mercury, so find out what Mercury's radius is. You have to do that re research. If you want your planet to have an atmosphere, and let's have this first planet have an atmosphere, this height is how far above the surface the atmosphere goes. 126 kilometers up, that's a good number. You might want to change that a little bit just for fun. The cloud map, also on Carpe Calum, there are pictures of clouds. You can change the way the clouds look. Try to change that particular value. Check out this whole section here, which says elliptical orbit. From here to here, open brackets, close brackets, starting with that word elliptical orbit. That tells you how this planet orbits the star. The period is how long it takes in years to go around. The semi-major axis is in astronomical units. The eccentricity is the shape, must be between 0 and 1. The inclination is the tilt of the orbit in degrees. This one's hardly tilted at all. These next three numbers, don't stress about them. They are just angles between 0 and 360. You can randomize them. So the ascending node, the longitude of the paracenter, and the mean longitude, just put in some numbers between 0 and 360. The rotation period is how many hours it takes the planet to rotate once. Of course, the Earth rotates in about 24 hours. The obliquity is how many degrees over the North Pole is tilted. For Earth, that's 23 and a half degrees, right? The albedo is how bright the planet is, a number between 0 and 1. 0.67 is a planet like Earth. It has some clouds and has some continents. A very dark planet might have an albedo of only 0.05 or something. Let's take a look at this moon, simply the moon. I'm going to call my moon Gort and see here that Gort orbits the planet Klaatu and Klaatu orbits the star HIP 697671. You've got to put your own star there. This is a moon, so class means moon. The texture is how you want that moon to look. Uh, that's the graphics file you paint onto the surface. Once again, the radius is in kilometers. Let's take a look at the orbit of this moon. Here's the things I'd like you to try to change. For moons, the period is in days. So this moon takes 4.5 days to orbit the planet. The semi-major axis is in kilometers. So this moon orbits 527,000 kilometers away from the planet. You should know that our own moon or, uh, orbits around the Earth about 386,000 kilometers away. The eccentricity, again, is a number between 0 and 1, but you're probably going to want to make your eccentricity kind of small because moon's orbits tend to be circular. The inclination is, once again, the tilt of the orbit. A rather small number it can be between 0 and 10, maybe, something like that. The mean anomaly, don't worry about this at the present time, but that's going to be a number between 0 and 360, a random angle. And again, the albedo, how bright the moon is.
Well, good luck with this. Put some numbers in here. You are going to make your own version of this. I use the program called WordPad. Mac users will use another program, but it is essential that you use a program that does not do any of this formatting. You want a plain text format. So work on that today. Talk to each other. See what you want to do. Uh, this, again, is just the first step. And we will, when I get back and talk to you, we'll review what you might have put in this document.